evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, March 22nd, 2016. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, it appears Manchester's Old Stone Ford Golf Course is making a comeback. A former Moore County substitute teacher pleads guilty to aggravated sexual battery of a child. Tullahoma firefighters rescue a victim from a structure fire. And we'll tell you about an upcoming seminar to provide information and help for veterans in getting their benefits from the VA. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. If you're in the market for a new vehicle, Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac is worth the short drive for savings that can't be beat. Take home this 2015 Chevy Equinox, zero down, just $299 a month. Or how about this 2015 Chevy Silverado Double Cab, zero down, just $369 a month. And as always, we will match or beat any dealer's price. So come check us out or visit us online at stanmcnabb.com. But please don't forget when it comes to the best deals, if anyone can, Stan can. Time to get fit, Tullahoma, and register today for the I Am For The Child Family 5K Run and Walk. You'll be proud to know you're supporting the Children's Court Appointed Special Advocate, or CASA, while running or walking Saturday, April 9th at Fraser McEwen Park at 8 a.m. Pre-register at active.com for $25 or starting at 6.30 a.m. the day of the race. Special thanks to these sponsors, Chick-fil-A, Light Tea, City of Tullahoma. Click on active.com and register for the CASA 5K Family Fun Run and Walk. Welcome back. Southern Middle Tennessee golfers will once again be able to enjoy nine holes of play at Manchester's Old Stone Fort Golf Course. The abandoned state park course off Highway 41 North has been brought, bought from the Tennessee Park System for $561,000. The Manchester Times reports Driver Properties LLC expects to reopen the course within the next 12 to 18 months. Company spokesman Eugene Tink Driver says he's working to renovate fairways, greens, and tea boxes left unattended since the, the state closed the course in 2011 due to operating losses. Driver says the clubhouse will also be renovated. The course was built in the late 1960s as a private country club and was then acquired as part of Old Stone Fort State Park. The course was popular with seniors but closed as the park system tried to save money at several state-run golf venues. Tennessee Labor and Workforce Development Commissioner Burns Phillips had announced last week that the Tennessee preliminary unemployment rate for February was 4.9 percent. That's a five-tenths of a percentage point decrease from the January revised rate of 5.4 percent. The U.S. preliminary rate for February was also 4.9 percent, unchanged from the previous month. Over the past year, Tennessee's unemployment rate has decreased from 6.0 percent to 4.9 percent, while the national rate declined from 5.5 percent to 4.9 percent. Total non-farm employment increased 1,600 jobs from January to February. The largest increases occurred in professional business services, arts and entertainment, recreation and government. Over the year, non-farm employment increased by 89,300 jobs. The largest increases occurred in trade, transportation, utilities, professional business services and education health services. A former substitute teacher is facing nine years behind bars after admitting to illegal sexual contact with a 10-year-old male student. Terry Fultz, age 36, pleaded guilty to aggravated sexual battery of a child last week in Moore County Circuit Court. The former substitute teacher at Lynchburg Elementary School was charged in October 2014. The Moore County News reports she admitted to sexual contact with the student, including overnight stays at her home. Moore County authorities started the investigation after after receiving complaints from other teachers at the Lynchburg School that Fultz and the child were acting inappropriately. She's also banned from contact with the, the victim. Motlow State Community College staff members are putting the wheels in motion to reconnect with prospective adult students who have completed some college courses but have yet to complete enough to graduate. This effort is in part of Tennessee Reconnect, which is crucial to Governor Bill Haslam's Drive to 55 campaign, an initiative that aims to ensure that at least 55 percent of the state's population holds a college degree or certificate by the year 2025. Motlow State, in conjunction with the statewide Reconnect campaign, is making specific efforts to find and encourage adult learners to return to the college. Recently, over 500 push cards were mailed to former Motlow students to begin discussion about coming back to complete their education. 
The Montlow mailing coincided with a $1 million statewide reconnect advertising campaign that was launched in January by the Tennessee Higher Education Commission. The THEC campaign is directed at the approximately 1 million adults in Tennessee with some college but no degree. Brenda Cannon, Motlow College Reconnect liaison, said, quote, Tennessee Reconnect targets the adult population, a population that is critical to the mission of Motlow State. As workforce training and education needs of the adult population change and evolve, Motlow State will continue as a primary higher education institution that addresses these needs. We are definitely on on board supporting the Drive to 55 initiatives that will position Tennessee as a more educated state, which in turn yields a better quality of life for everyone." End quote. The Motlow Student Affairs Office has extended its hours of operation each Tuesday through May the 3rd until 6 p.m. in order to accommodate the scheduled challenges of the working adult. Appointments can be made and walk-ins are welcome. Tullahoma firefighters had to rescue a Tullahoma resident from a structure fire that occurred just before 10 p.m. last Tuesday night in the 1200 block of Pickett Drive. According to Tullahoma Fire Chief Richard Chastine, the first firefighters on the scene were there in less than five minutes. Firefighters Josh Nelms and Rocky Roten were able to rescue a resident from the home. That victim was transported to, no to Nova Healthcare Harton for observation and kept overnight. The other occupants were able to escape on their own. Chief Shastine said that when firefighters entered the front door, they encountered heavy smoke inside of the home and with little vi visibility. Firefighters were able to locate and extinguish the blaze within a matter of a few minutes. Fire units did stay out on the scene for about two and a half hours to make sure the fire was completely extinguished. The preliminary investigation of how the fire started is incomplete, but it appears to be accidental. Chief Chastain said the damages to the home was estimated to be around $50,000. The home was left uninhabitable because of extensive smoke, fire, and water damage. More News Leader on 6 is coming up after these messages. The wait is finally over. The 2015 50th anniversary Ford Mustang is finally here. This is one awesome vehicle. Let me give you a few stats on this V8 Mustang. 435 horsepower, independent rear suspension, 25 miles per gallon, and this is the one you've been waiting for. Zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Don't blink an eye or you'll miss it. Come by Russell Barnett, Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester and check it out. The 2015 Mustang, the all new redesign, will leave you speechless. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. Jim spoke last week with Ray Cobb, who represents the Veterans Helping Veterans Group, which is planning a big seminar to provide valuable information to veterans about how to attain veterans benefits. A, a situation everyone has heard in the news the last few years concerning veterans and things that go on and rejection of claims. And about 20 years ago, a gentleman by the name of James Cripps out of Ashland City, Tennessee, uh, founded a group called Veterans Helping Veterans mm -hmm. and he came up with this idea because he himself was the first individual to be contaminated Agent Orange in the continental United States mm -hmm. and the Department of Defense rejected that. No, 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 we didn't do it. However, he was able to prove his case and win his case and there was so much red tape and things that had to go through, he formed this group called Veterans Helping Veterans, which when a veteran runs into problems on a claim, this group steps in, looks at their situation, see what they've left out, what they didn't get, if the forms were properly filled out, signed, and all the, the mm -hmm. details. And uh, we started one four years ago in Franklin County. We have been able to help 106 veterans receive their benefits after they were rejected. That's phenomenal. And um, we've helped veterans from Michigan to Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, and of course all over the Franklin, some Coffee County areas. Mm -hmm. uh, 
we don't really advertise or promote or anything along those lines. And what, what it is, is we're having a seminar on April the 19th. And we'd like for all veterans to come out and attend. We, we are doing something that's never been done before. We're going to try it. It looks like it's going to work. It's going to be at the First United Methodist Church in Winchester in the gym. Mm -hmm. It's going to start at 8.30 in the morning with coffee and donuts. But then uh, Congressman Dejolay's office is going to have a representative there to tell what they can do when a veteran runs into problems. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, we got two ladies coming from the Veterans Administration. One who I just think dearly of because she helped me get mine through. Um, and Phyllis Gardner has 20 years of experience filing films and things for the veterans. And what, what they're going to do is, first of all, the first 45 minutes are going to be telling about different benefits, how to claim, what they need, how to prove it. A veteran is just like a, a trial. You have to prove your case. It's there, they say assumption, but it's not an assumption. You got to prove that you were there, whether it be Vietnam or wherever. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's a little, when they say, oh, well, it's an assumption. No, it's not. You got to have documentation to show that you were in, in, in war country or whatever. Now, um, the greatest part's the second half of their part. They're actually go to file claims for veterans, go over them, look up claims if you have one pending that hasn't been approved, and then also look and see if you have one that needs to have an appeal. And they're going to be bring their computer, set them up, and they're going to be able to do that right there. And that's, that's the that's first good, time yeah. that that's ever happened outside of the federal building in uh, Nashville. Mm -hmm. And then in the afternoon, we're going to top it off. We have two individuals coming from the Alvin C. York Medical Center. They're going to talk about the medical side. Now, this is important to guys like you and I that are getting up through it. Mm -hmm. Instead of having to go ahead and take your Social Security and then add additional medical, the Veterans Administration, if you served in the Army, that will serve as your secondary medical to, okay. to your Medicare. Right. So it's really a, an exciting day and there's going to be a lot of information. People have come out of the woodwork. The health department is going to have someone there to represent to do what they can do for, for veterans and for older individuals. we got uh, the Tennessee um, Highway Patrol is bringing their uh, motorhome, which they can do driver's license renewals in. They're going to renew veterans' driver's license form and, of course, put veteran. They, are, they have a new program where they can put veteran across their driver's license. Mm -hmm. They're going to be there and they'll do that and they can renew it for, I think it's five or eight years. It's only eight dollars. They're going to be able to do it right there on the spot. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a thing called Yellow Dot, which you fill out this form that you put your name and address and next to kin and all your medical problems, medications, and they take your picture and then they fold that up and put it in a yellow envelope and it has a yellow dot that you put on your windshield. That folder goes in your mm -hmm. glove compartment. If you get sick or you're out on the road and you have a wreck or anything like that, then the uh, highway patrolman will be able to look in that glove compartment and get all the important information to give to that EMT or the emergency responder group. Right. Okay. All that's go there and it's all free. Yeah. All they have to do is pick up a ticket. You can pick one up here in Tullahoma at the First United Methodist Church. And the ticket gets two people in. It gets you and your spouse or you and your caretaker, mm -hmm. whether it be a son or daughter or, or some other relative. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. There's mm -hmm. going to be little gifts that's going to be given out. There's going to be a, uh, one real nice store prize for sure that's already been donated. It's, uh, there's just a lot going on with it. All right, a great program. Tell us again where it is and the times. It's so, April right. 19th. Okay. It's at the First United Methodist Church in Winchester. You can pick your tickets up here at the First United Methodist Church in Tullahoma. They're free. It starts at 8.30 in the morning. We should be through around 2.30 or 3 in the afternoon. We'll be right back after these messages. I'm Philip Bourne, Stanley Now Detail Shop Manager. Here are a few things our customers have to say about our service. I always recommend Stan McNabb Detail Shop to all of my friends. I'm always so impressed by how quickly they can return your vehicle back to you. It's always spotless and I'm always very impressed. Spotless, clean, I was really amazed. It looks like a brand new car when I get it back. We have several different packages and individual services to get your vehicle looking like new again. We're located just behind Stan McNabb Chevrolet dealership. Call today, schedule an appointment, and see what a difference our detail can make. All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and what I am now, and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. 
The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well, the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. Manchester businessman and artist Bill Nichols will be displaying his work at the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center over the next few weeks. John Gray spoke with Bill about some of his work. I knew a lot about Bill, but not enough because, uh, of course, Bill has been the Chamber of Commerce president over in Manchester and run for office and done all kinds of neat and good things. He's a good businessman. His wife is a good businesswoman. And, but I didn't know he was an artist until recently, and Bill is having a show at the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center. Correct. And that's starting when? Bill, on the 19th? This Saturday. Okay. And it'll run for a month. Run for a month. How'd you get started in art, Bill? Uh, I, I was going to go to school to be a teacher at ETSU, and I was pretty much uh, a naive person. I'd been to the college a little bit at a community college like uh, Motlow, but uh -huh. called Walter State. And so I'm walking across campus to go to um, transfer to the education department, and I happened to notice an art building. And I had no clue about art, I'd never taken art or anything. And I walked in and asked them what they were doing. And they said, we're taking, um, you know, we're getting a degree in art. To paraphrase this, this went on for a couple of hours. But, uh, so anyway, I went back down to administration and changed my degree to my major to art. What he does, what Bill does, is very unique. And uh, give us a little description of this and what. Uh, well, this is why a, this is what it is. Pretty much, this is a landscape, and you can kind of see the rooftop of a house in there, and you can see a tree behind it. But uh, I have um, been working on this painting since 1989. Well, let's say that drawing, and I've made hundreds of hundreds of paintings after this one drawing I did. Right, and right. Uh, I try to make each one different each time. Right. So there are some of these paintings in the show, uh, maybe ten or twelve of them out of the hundreds, literally that I've made, and uh, and then I also have sculpture and drawing and one or two photographs, just to kind of. Cause I'm not necessarily a painter or a sculptor. Can I just get, try to do a little bit of everything. Can you get on this, CJ? Amy and I, Bill Nichols Insurance and Pet Medical Center are sponsoring this um, art exhibit along with the Tullahoma Art Center and uh, also Old Shed's going to be there and uh, Liquor Locker is going to be there with some wine. All right, but, great. Uh, Look at that. Now what is this? Explain this. Well, I, I call that more like stream of consciousness and Amy, Amy and my children have been so supportive of me because usually these, this drawing is about 42 inches wide and I do it on a a roll piece of drawing paper that's on a roll. Right. So at the kitchen table, I'm dining room table. I mean, I will um, I'll unroll it and draw and draw, and then maybe when we're going to eat or people are coming over, I just roll it up, put it all away. So my studio is <laughs> the dining room. All right. And uh, everybody's really patient with me. But basically, I just draw whatever's coming to mind when I unroll it that day. So I really don't know what's. So that's a two by six or two by eight floating through the clouds. Yeah, yeah, two by eight. I love I'd it. say yeah. And then that's an axe over there and a fan and a, you know, a tea bag. Just some random stuff that just kind of pops up. Yeah, that's up. great. It reminds me of the 50s. You need to stop by Tullahoma Fine Arts Center across Jackson Street from the South Jackson Street School. Bill Nichols is going to be there. It's opening for his show, which is going to be there the 19th. Bill, through what? I just say for a month. And I be think there. they're open on Thursday, yeah. Friday, and Saturday. Right. So You have a month to come down and, and see the show. Right. Bill? I'm glad I learned about the other side of you. Hey, we've all got something. Right? We all We're all got out there something. doing something. We're all we, John? doing something. <laughs> but dude, like I said earlier, folks, this is one of the good guys right here. So, Thank you uh, so much, John. Go, go by and see him at the Fine Arts Center. We'll be right back with more news later on 6. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor's stat. 
All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. The Stan McNabb Chevy Cadillac Buick GMC dealership in Tullahoma recently received some recognition for the service at the dealership. Jim spoke with General Manager Trent McNabb about the award. Your dealership, the Chevy dealership, won a very prestigious award recently. Tell us about that. We did. So we were the DealerRater.com of the year. So. Uh, it's an annual recognition program and it's all based on online reviews. Uh, so it's customers going onto their website and leaving a review about their service experience, sales experience, and they rate us on the, the quality of work, the experience, the pricing, uh, and then they can leave a few comments about it. So, uh, and we were awarded for the state of Tennessee uh, dealer of the year. And we really appreciate the customers taking the time to do that and share their experience because I mean it, it takes you know five minutes or so mm -hmm. going online and then registering and putting it on there for us but I just appreciate them taking the time to do it and our team you know at our, at our store um, giving the customers that experience. That's pretty unbelievable when you consider the size of Tullahoma mm -hmm. and how many how many Chevy dealerships are there? It's, there's a lot of them in this yeah, state. Yeah, there's uh, th 3,000 in the country, so you know, I imagine Tennessee's got a couple hundred anyway. Yeah, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. were, were you surprised when you found out about it? We were. We were. We were trying to track it as, as we went along through the year and, and knew we were in the running, uh, but we had to wait on the official announcement uh, from Dealer Raider. Unbelievable, and I, and I, I would guess that's something that a lot of people may say. Yeah, they're great guys out there, and they do a great job, but they're not going to take the time to go write something about that. Yeah, that's exactly right, and I know uh, uh, even I'm guilty of it because when I do go shop for a product, I'll read reviews, you know, about it and see what other people are saying, and I should in turn, you know, take the time to leave a review because it does help other people. Sure, you know, whether you're buying a computer or a car or whatever else it may be. Um, it definitely helps others in the buying process. Did, you, did your dad ever win that award? He, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't? Okay. <laughs> what about your brother? <laughs> he, he, he got uh, most of the way there. He did get the uh, top customer satisfaction award. So, oh, okay. So uh, <laughs> he, he's in there with us. Okay. Well, that's, that's uh, your, your dad has a great history and has tremendous respect for people in, in the uh, automotive business in the round tell home. But you got something on him now. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, congratulations, well, Trent. I know you, you guys deserve You guys do a wonderful job out there. And, it's always a pleasure to see you again and keep up the good work. Appreciate it. Tell, Thank you. Tell Stanley Man to start over and you know work a little harder. So get out and catch up with his children. Don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include local artists Jerry Zimmerman and Tommy Williams, who have a show a showing at the Tullamore Art Center and will be hosting an Easter egg hunt this Saturday. Alicia Bell with the United Way will come by and tell us about how you can help your neighbors with a donation. And the horseplay dinner is coming up, and we'll also speak with a pair of dedicated staff members that help local children. All this and more on this week's Living. Stay with us, we'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. The Kia Summer's On Us sales event is going on right now at Russell Barnett Kia of Tullahoma. Let me tell you about this event. Purchase a new Kia Sedona, Kia Optima, Kia Forte and receive 0% financing up to 66 months and your first three payments for free. For a limited time only, no strings attached. With America's best warranty, the 10-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. The Kia Summer's On Us sales event going on right now. Why buy anywhere else? It's your trademark. That's something special everyone knows and remembers. It's your thing. It's made holidays special for decades. And summer's unforgettable for the entire neighborhood. It's made everyone laugh every single time. Don't let illness or injury keep you from doing your thing. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. 
Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once and delivered to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. Is this the year you want to get fit? If so, check out just some of the things Tullahoma Parks and Rec has to offer. Kickboxing, aerobics, silver sneakers workouts, swim lessons, boot camp, water aerobics, basketball, Zumba, yoga, pickleball, lap swimming, treadmill, karate. Get fit Tullahoma and have some fun with Tullahoma Parks and Rec. Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at TennesseeTrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1938 at 82 degrees. The record low was in 1958 at 20 degrees. The average high on this day is 62, and the average high is 37. Tonight, look for partly cloudy weather with a low of around 46. Partly cloudy weather again in your forecast for Wednesday with a high of 67 and a low of 59. And some storms expected on Thursday with a high of 66 and a low of 36. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for Newsletter on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great evening.